Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Five Romancers YouTube channel. I am your host, Megan. If you're new here, and if you're a returning viewer, welcome home, spooky family. We've got some normal-ish videos coming your way. So, today we're gonna do an unboxing, which I totally forgot to film prior to my trip to Salem to a visit with Dallas. This is also like, look out this weekend because I'm gonna make a post because not only is this unboxing for me, it's also uh, includes a giveaway for the Halfway to Haunts, but there are details and instructions that I'm gonna need you all to follow if you're part of that so that you can be entered to win your own ooh, um, thing, all right? Okay, moving on. It's It's been a while, bear with me. You know me, you've seen me live. If you haven't, go check out our live from Salem. We've got stuff for you. So what I am opening is the Halloween Mystery Box yarn from Cape May Fibers. Oh my goodness, do I have my gauges in today, guys? Oh my gosh, half the time, like we got cat butt holes going on. What I'm gonna be unboxing for you guys is the Halloween Mystery Box from Cape May Fiber Co. So this is the little artwork that we got. I apologize if you've seen the like last week's videos, I had fake nails on and I've already ripped them off of my body. I We don't like things on us. Let me read what this box contains. One skein of Cape May Fiber DK Merino on the ocean's floor in Luna Moth color, right? A Luna Moth shirt in the size of our choosing. So I'm gonna let you know right now that if you're gonna enter for the giveaway at the very end, the box that you're gonna receive from, if you're participating in the Halfway to Haunts will not have a t-shirt in it. It has a mug instead because there was no way for either of us to kind of gauge the size that would be necessary. It's, it's a beautiful mug anyways. I'm not gonna open it for you guys because obviously I have my own right here. Handmade Luna Moth enamel pin, a charcoal and wood handmade soap. Wait, you made this? Oh my gosh, wait, I'll open that. I love handmade soaps. I love it. If you guys don't actually use handmade soaps, my hack for this is actually to put it in with like your hand knits or in like your underwear, like all of your little fancy doodads because you know, it acts as a potpourri and makes everything smell so good. I do this a lot because I buy a lot of handmade soap. That being said, we're gonna re keep reading this list. Moon and Star Stitch Marker, also made. So handmade, okay. They're okay, so the code for the cowl that this is a kit for. I didn't realize this had it here. There is a knit and a crochet version. Look. So I believe this comes in, will come in yours too. There is the pattern. Wow, okay, let's get going. Thank you so much, Vanessa, for sending me this and also donating a gift for the Halfway to Haunts make along. Let's, let's, we got our whole little bag. I'm really excited for this t-shirt. Ooh, is it screen printed? I'm not sure, but it has the link for the Etsy shop that created these. So I don't know if this is screen printed or like not, you know. Ooh, how pretty is that? Wow, I love that. Like I said, look out this weekend for a giveaway info because yours won't have the shirt in it, but it has a lovely cup. Mug, mug. Wait, okay, so she included for me some honeysuckle jelly. I cannot wait to try this out. I love that all of this is like, just like handmade on top of it, hold on. So these are the yarns. Ooh, this is not picking up properly on my camera. It is such a beautiful, it, it is true to being a Luna Moth green. Okay, so if we are back here, that's pretty true to color. Oh my goodness. Yep, and it's called Luna Moth. This is on the DK base. It is 100% super washed. 231 yards. I love that. Also, if you're checking out that, 
I'll, I'll talk about that later. Just ignore the giant wooden coffin in the background, thanks. It's spooky season. It's September 1st while I'm recording this. Spooky craps are coming, guys. This is the same base, and this is the ocean floor colorway. This is such a gorgeous, oh my gosh, there's so many beautiful tones in here. Let's see, we got some like denim blue and dark navy, indigo, there's like a rusty kind of color to it in here too. Oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. Those pair gorgeously together. Let's pull them back here. Wow. It's just, oh my gosh. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Where are you? I hear all the little bits and bobs jingling around in the bottom here. Let's make sure we don't lose anything. Okay, so here are the stitch markers. I might have to take a, sh like, a separate shot to show you guys these because... Oh, they're gorgeous. So we got a one star. <gasps> a little little kitty cat on the moon. A little sleepy moon. I don't know, the sun and the moon here. Love it. So cute. And then I don't know what size, let's see, do I have an eight right here? I think, oh, I don't know what size knitting needles these will fit. It looks, if I had to gauge, about an eight will fit into it. So like a standard and smaller size knitting needle. Here's our pin. Love me a good pin. Oh, this is gonna look so cute with the pins I got from Salem. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And I'm just now realizing that my box fan over there has been on. So I'm really sorry if you can actually hear that because, uh, yeah. Okay, and here's the soap. I love, love soap. And it's in this beautiful little, like, cotton linen bag. And it has her logo printed on it. So cute. Oh my gosh, I wanna. <laughs> the urge to eat handmade soap is so strong. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, that smells so nice. Lev's gonna love this. He is a big fan of charcoal soap, so I'm actually gonna give him this one. I'm not gonna potpourri things with it. It's gonna get much love from the Husbeast. That is uh, everything I have in my bag. So right here is the second bag, which includes the mug, which has everything except the t-shirt and the jelly because you get a mug and the jelly was just special for me. And I will let you guys know this weekend. So look out on my Instagram. If you're not following me over there and you're not participating in the Halfway to Haunts make along, uh, follow me on as Penny underscore Moons. And the Halfway to Haunts make along is a Halloween make along where we are knitting, crocheting, sewing, DIY, everything that you possibly can all the way from when this, like, this, it started in May. I do this every year. This is the second year. All the way to, obviously, Halloween, where I will announce a grand winner. And so, if you're participating in that, and you're following me, and you're following Kate May Fiber Co., you will be eligible to enter for your very own Mystery Luna Moth grab bag. Bag? I don't know what it is. I don't know technically. Oh my mystery box, even though it's in a uh, beautiful bag. Anyways, that's gonna do it for us today. Look out this weekend for the official post on how you can, where you're gonna enter for that. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.